Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexander from Brazil and today we are going to talk about Kira and Doria best teams against the Corvus. Okay? So first I want you to understand what happens with Kira because the Corvus can kill her very easy. So these two skills, the third skill and the last skill when Kira uses her base attack, the blades are going to ricochet between the enemy's teams and the, she will also use her last skill, that is passive skill and the, each damage she will make damage in double, so 5 heroes times 2 equals 10 damages, ok? So, when Corvus conjures his altar, it's about 7 seconds of the battle, so it's very fast so, Kira will receive 10 times Corvus Altar damage. And the maximum, maximum, maximum level, the Altar damage, damage is about, it's about 15 and 300 damage, okay? 15, 300 thousand damage. It's a lot of damage per, per, per each Altar damage, okay? So, he can kill Kira very easy with that, but uh, if you use Kira with Dorian, when Kira uses her blades and ricochet between the enemies, she will make damage in double and she will get full life again and uh, she will get full energy and she will attack Corvus team, okay? So it's a great chance for Kira and you need to focus in level up her life level up her armor penetration and physical attack okay for it works very well so i think now you understand what happens and why i, I make these things and i will show the best things i chose for you let's see so now let's talk about the things and the team number one we have jo jetty dorian kira and divari and the city so here we have jetty giving his artifact armor for the team and also getting Vampirism from Dorian and he will give a critical hit for the whole team, it's very good and after we have Dorian give a physical attack for the team and the Vampirism for Jet and Kira and after we have Kira as a killer and then the Vary that can protect the team against the, against the displacement and lookup it's good against teams like Twins and the Karak, okay? And the Ziri, Ziri is as a tank, she's very good. And the, when Ziri uses her first skill, she directs all damage to her, and the, it's it's will give time for Kira use the vampirism and recover her health. Okay. In the team number two, we have almost the same, but here we have King Mao. King Mao giving armor penetration for Kira, it's very good in his first artifact. And King Mao is a good counter for Corvus because she reduces the enemy's armor. And the Corvus has low, ar low armor, okay, and he don't have armor skin, it's very good. And the team number three is almost the same, but now I put Cleaver. Because the cleaver is very strong when he get he get critical hit damage from jet, okay? So I think it's a good combo for a cleaver. And when he pulls the enemies for for the front line, Kimau you will attack with him. It's a very good thing, okay? And after we have we have Ilios, Dorian, Kira, Satori in the Galahad. It's a very good thing. Ilios getting vampirism from Dorian and the Ilios is counter for critical hit teams. You can watch the video about Ilios here in my channel, okay? And the after we have a Satori, Satori's protection against Jordan. I think the weakness of combo Kira and Dorian is Jordan, but this video about how to defeat Corvus. 
So if you, you use Satori, you, you can queue Georgian very fast, okay, it's very good. Okay, I think it's a good thing. Team number five, we have again Ilius, Doran, Kira, Kimau, and Chaba. So here we have Ilius giving critical hit protection and physical attacks protection. And Doran give vampires for Ilius and Kira. Okay, it's nice here that he, always that Ilius make an attack or protection against critical hit teams. He will get, get full life, okay? And Kira with vampirism and Kimau giving armor penetration for Kira and the and the also can can reduce Scorbo's skill skill skills okay armor sorry she can reduce Corvus armor and Chaba Chaba will eat Corvus and the when Chaba eat the tank enemy tank he he curve her armor and the health it's very good and the after we have again Ilios but now if he Team number six, Ilius, Doran, Kira, and Divari and Ziri. So here, and Divari giving protection against against teams like Twins and Karki, and also Cleaver, and Ziri with her first skill giving getting all damage to her. So it's very good, and also as all tanks here give armor for the, the team. Okay, also in Divari giving armor. So. We have Ilius giving armor in his artifact in the Vari and Ziri, so it's a lot of uh, armor for this team, also a lot of protection. And after we have team number seven again. The it's uh, Ilius Doran Care again, but now we have Gimau and Cleaver. So when when Cleaver pull the enemies from for the front line, Gimau will attack them with Cleaver, so it's a great synergy, okay? And I think, I think he, we can use the Shimeo here in this team, stand off Kimau. So it could be a good secondary option, okay? And after we have a team number 80. Now, now we have Ilius, Doran, Keira, and Indivari and Zir. So here, I think it's a good team. And it's, I think he, it's... A, uh, we have Ziri giving armor for the team, and with her first skill very good, that giving timing for Kira recover her health, and then Divari then giving protection against a lot of things. Ilios giving physical attack protection and critical hit protection, and Doran giving vampirism, increasing their physical attack if he has first artifact. Team number nine. Now we have Marta. Dorian Kira and the variant Ziri. So here we have a Marta again now. Marta. So Marta is a good healer and the Marta can speed the team. And in her first artifact can give you armor for the team. And the the synergy with Marta here is that when Kira is almost dying after receiving damage from Corvus, so Marta can speed the the team, so she will speed Kira and Kira can attack fast and get more life and get full energies, full life, okay, full health, and it is very good. And after we have a Marta again, team number 10, Marta again. So now we have a Chaba instead of a Ziri, and here Chaba has a good counter for, for Corvus, okay, he can eat Corvus and he recover his, his, his armor and the health, so it's a, a good option. And after team number 11, we have Fia, Dorian, Kira, and Divari, and Ziri. So here, Fia is a good team for Fia because he, uh, when, 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 the, when the, the allies get life below than 30%, Fia can speed them her passive skill, last skill, okay? So if Corvus attack Kira and she gets low life, it's like below the 30%, Fia will, will speed Kira and Kira can, get, can attack fast and get vampirism and 
the recovery her health so it's very good synergy here for a few things okay and the after we have Indivar and Ziri that's a good option against Corvus okay and also Fia can stun the, the enemies so it's good to give it time for Kira to recover her health and the after Fia also can give it magic defense in her first artifact so here we have a Zero in the Dvar giving armor and Fia giving magic defense and in here now team number 12 we have a standoff and now we have Satori Satori can protect our team against the energy so heroes like Endivari, Jordan and Dorian don't have a chance against Satori it's very good against this thing so we have it here magic attacking, magic defense, physical attack, armor so I think it's also a good team for Fi, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video and please consider to subscribe and give your like and I hope to see you again here. Bye bye.